Hello, YouTube. Uh, let me just mute that TV a moment. We don't have to listen to Mark Simpson. Yeah, so basically, this is just an update video. Rather than posting the update photos for you lads on Arsog, and if my YouTube followers aren't familiar with it, it's just a group called Rail Sim Users Group on Facebook, who this route is for. Basically, instead of posting photos, I'll just do a video. Um, all that I'm doing at the minute is putting the scenery around uh, Headbridge, which is the main station where all the main engine shed and the carriage sidings and whatnot are, and the main workshop. Currently, done basically the um, the close-up scenery around the station area, and I'm going to slowly, slowly start to move around with the scenery, which is too a bit further away from the station. I'm not going overly mad with scenery that's like two miles away from the station, like what you see with RSC and whatnot doing with their bullshit routes, which never seem to be absolutely fine. And I don't care if an RSC member is watching this because it's true, the routes are bullshit. Apart from London to Brighton, that's a good route. Um, got some new members of the fleet. Patriot, we got a class 20, we got a class 33, we've also got a 4 MT tank. Not not a lot has really happened, but oh you probably can already tell as well, I have a new mic. That's probably why you can hear me properly. But uh, yeah. Basically I'm going to put the scenery between Headbridge and Bro. Do Bro. And then I'm going to signal the route between Headbridge and Bro, and then it will be sort of like um, open, sort of thing between Headbridge and Bro. It will be an open route, and you can uh, run trains between there then, because it will be signalled and signed and all that nonsense and whatnot. So, uh, apart from all the scenery and everything, I thought I would do a little uh, run. Between um, Headbridge and Hatton for you, a return journey with the. Uh, well, I'll probably decide that in a minute. But it'll probably be the class 20 or the 4 and 2 Um. So yeah, let's get that ready. Right then, so uh, actually I've already done a run with the uh, 20 just sort of testing when I first put it on the route, so I'll more than likely do the 4 MT tank. This is the 4 MT tank. And I haven't given it to a while. Also, apologies for the lag, but it seems that ever since I started putting all the scenery down, it's lagging up the, uh, the game. That's so fun. I am here to join you, Kieran. Oh no, it's Jack Blakemore. Hi, Jack! It's a me. You know one of the others may actually just join. Yeah, well, oh well, but the thing is I've already been recording and have already been recording for about five minutes, so yeah. Are you still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. I've done a bit of an update. I'm just about to do a run with the 4MT because I haven't done one with it yet. Hello, people. Oh, God. He said hello. It's the end of the world. And so Jack Blakemore died. Nah. He uh, disconnected. We got the brakes and he's running just up in reverse. Fipsy has now joined. And Fipsy has gone. I need to get the 4MT sound pack. I think. Hmm. 
What do you want? So we're back to we're just pulling the four MC out of the shed here. God, this is like it's something wicked. Might be something to do with the fact that I'm using the near scenery at the far away points. I might have to change it all to the uh, far away sort of scenery, the 2D scenery. Actually, um, what I think I'll do is because the light is somewhat annoying with the fact that I'm running TSX mode. Um, I'll go away. I will um, change all the far away scenery into the scenery that's supposed to be far away. Hopefully that will reduce the lag and then I'll come back and then I'll... Um, do the run for you perhaps maybe in this video or in a separate video but yeah i'll come back and do the video so uh, see you later guys okay guys we're back but this time we have a few people that does i say a few it's more like 11 people so yeah we got david jane bailey callum dean jack jack matty mike and wilson hello Hi. Yeah. Hello. Oh, we've got Hello. Mind Turtle as well. Can't forget Mind Turtle. Hello. <laughs> Maybe we've got more than one of them, but oh well. There's an imposter about. Who might this imposter be? I am the Mind Turtle. I am the totally legitimate Mind Turtle, yes. I feel like death. So basically, all I'm going to do is take the 4MT halfway up the line with the train and back. Yes, he is. Good for me indeed. So, yeah. Don't be surprised if I crash. That's John Davis's job anyway, so I'll be fine. Still no headlamps. Don't know where they've gone. I don't think you should be allowed to run if you haven't got headlamps. I'm pretty sure it's a health and safety concern. Well, if it's that much yeah, of a health yeah. and safety concern, I'll just run with the Class 20 instead. Yeah, I'll just use that. Or at least have the Class 20 pilot in. Hmm, double heading. Hmm. Or yeah, top and tailing. Or top and tailing. Because then I don't have to run around. But then if I... Um, that was stuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Ah, uh, stuck, man is the best. Oh, Robbie D, come and get you. No. Be yes. obvious. Yes. Never. Right, in ten minutes, I'm going to have to pop to the shop to grab some coke. Pop to shot to grab some cook. That's good coke, said Thomas. <laughs> see, see, Callum, you have to be careful who you're saying coke around. Mm. Yes. Well, you lot know I mean the drink, yeah? No. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. No. Really? No, I thought oh. smoke. I thought you meant the fuel. See that fuel? Fuel. Really fuel. Is lurking, it? Oh yeah, like <laughs> coke. Cool. Never heard it. Digga 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 digga. Who joined? Who joined? Who joined? Who joined? Who joined? Bailey. Oh, yeah. it is Bailey. Oh, it is Bailey. It's Bailey. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It's only Bailey. He's not important. Hi. What do you want about? 
It's the end of the world as we know it. Arr. So we need a vote then. Do I top and tail with Earl Stoke Manor or a class 20 or do I double head? Double head. Have you got the arms from Powerhouse Pro Pack on the class 20? No. Then no. Drive the manor. Drive okay. the manor. But yeah. double, double oh, head guys. or top and tail? Uh, no, double, double head. Double head. Double yeah, top and tail. May I, may I top and tail thing. with a dead 20 on the back, so may the manor's I, doing all the work. May I, may I just say, uh, Kieran? No. Earl Stoke Manor, just for me, because Earl Stoke Manor's the best. I have got Earl Stoke Manor. I thought you knew that Earl Stoke Manor was my resident manor. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm only having locos that are in the current heritage status, which is a bit ironic because the 4MT I have on my train is 80080, which was scrapped. I think. No, it lives. Did it? Yeah, Where is it? Does. Where is it? 880, yeah, I think so. Where is it? Set the lights at the minute. Is it working or is it dead? Working. Bloody hell. Hold on. Hmm. The DBDR. It's uh, the one owned by the Princess two. Royal Trust. Nah. I'm currently figuring out uh, what locomotives were stationed at Stranra Shed um, in the 60s. So that means I can, you know, have a whole load of trains there and shit. Because I have no life. I also don't have the I'm 4MT so sound pack either, so I don't really know why I'm using the 4MT because it's just going to sound shit. No offence to digital traction. Well, but... the chuff sounds are not too bad. It's the whistle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It really sort of... is a whistle. <laughs> that ruins it. <laughs> I might. It just sounds I might, like James walking. I might sunshine. just click on the black five for ten seconds and sound the whistle to make it better. <laughs> Because the Stania the whistle on that Black Five is spot-on perfect. Bloody beautiful. Then again, there's something else that's coming out which is going to be extra special and we all know what that <laughs> one is, don't <laughs> we? You said cunt. <laughs> yeah, we all, we all know what that extra special thing that's coming out, don't we, James? No. Is it a train? It's a train, it's blue, and it has SDJR written on it. The DBBR423. <laughs> it's a class 70! And you know, you know, you know, Matty, I Tornadoes. didn't know that that had SDJR written on its tender. I didn't even seen... know it had a tender. But it's not 89, is it? You learn something new every day. No, it's not 89, but if you go down a number, then you'll know. Oh, 87. What? 79? 87. No, that's going down 10. That's going down 10. <laughs> Callum had to go there. 88.9. It's 88. <laughs> it's 88. 88. I loved it. I'm sorry, that was brilliant. 88.9. Shut up. You know, I was talking to a friend and uh, he said that... You have uh, friends? Friends? <laughs> yes, I do have friends. Wow, um, he has wow. And, the and they here. said that the perfect wife should be able to do 70 chores, housework, and 69. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I'm the only one laughing. I like trains. <laughs> I'm putting my docks on. Your what? My docks, my Dr. Martin's boots. I think I'm going a bit too fast that I might not stop and possibly overrun the platform. Just overrun it anyway. No, because crash, it got the 4MT on the crash, other crash, end. Crash, crash, crash. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, the 4MT, yeah, yeah. really. They're all just after all stuff matter. Alternative matter? ending to I like trains. I, I like singing. I like dancing. I like children. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Oh, Those stoke men is mine. Push them, push them, push them. Right uh, then, it's time to pull Earl Stoke Manor out the shed.
Oh, oh. I'm glad I uh, didn't mention B1 because I know who uh, would have wanted that on the train instead of the manor. Who? A certain person whose name begins with B and has 4464 because he loves the LNER. Uh, Is it Boris Johnson? Uh, Boris Johnson. Boris no, it's not Is that Boris Johnson. Oh, please, for God. Uh, death. Imagine Dr. Boris death. Johnson the train. Actually, I think a manor would be more suited to your route. Hello. Yeah. Actually, um, Hello. My yeah. name is Boris. Yeah, B1 is a bit you... too. And so James did his impression route. of Boris Johnson. Kieran. That is that that no. What? Kieran, Kieran, very, nice. Nice. very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I have a question about Kieran's room. And what's this question they about my room? Them. When are you planning to actually finish it and release it so you want it? Buses. Well, buses. Buses. I did, buses. I did buses. post buses. Route, master. Like route master. I did post a status about it on Arsog last night, basically route saying master. if I can be asked to work on John it DC. all the time, I will have the route released probably mid towards end of July. Route oh, masters. But then again, it's only four miles long, so I might want to extend it to make it bigger, yeah, so it might even be later. Yeah. But Transport yeah, for London. Even if it's only four miles here, and it is quite like a nice little route to have little shuttle type stuff going on. Well, no. I was even going to go that step further. It'd even be a cheeky bastard and ask James if he wanted to use it on multiplayer sessions. Congestion charge. <laughs> That's what I did. Because I'm, I'm sure that we'll probably end up using David, and I know we're going to use Littleton and Bathroom, so... We're not we're using, using Brain. Oh, right. David knows. We're not using we're not, things. We're not using my route. Oh. We're not using my route. I don't want it used. We're waiting for the PIA route to come out. That's why they're not using it. Well, James, if you want to use my route, you can use my route. Uh, for some reason, when I just said set up already. My next route might be quite a good contender, but I'm not going to give any details yet. Oh, Delete that those. one. Oh, this is a different one. Oh it's, a, oh, it's different to the one you told me. Yes. Boy, you, you, I can't think of the word. I don't have to tell you everything. Not my mother. Um, <laughs> I you... don't tell you everything. You're not my mother. You mother. wooble. Wow. <laughs> Call him a womble. Call him a womble. Uncle Bulgaria. <laughs> you <laughs> want to say that? No, I can't help but Smurf. feel, but I might slightly be coming slowly in love with the Great Western Railway. Welcome to the proper world. <laughs> no, there are two ways of doing things. The well, Great you see, or the you see, <laughs> you see, wrong way, of course. <laughs> I had my first love was the LMS, and then I knew fuck all about railways. Then I learnt about the Great Western and the LNER and the Southern Region and. Now I'm slowly becoming in love with the Great Western, and I've always loved the Bully Pacifics, but I will never, ever, 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 ever like the LNER, apart from a couple of B1s in the Robinson 04 and maybe Mallard. Or as Matty likes to call it. It's not it's Mallard. Yeah, I was just about to say it's Mallard. Kieran, it's not me that says Mallard, so get it right. Yes, it is. I, I like things that uh, they not. look pretty in my sort of design eye. I like it's, the if Great got... Western because of the motion and the brass and stuff. Oh, There's oh, one way of doing I things, so the wrong, wrong way. way, and the Great Western way. Wait, what? Yeah. Today, these things have merged James. into one. Uh oh, what's they um. excited about? James! What is it? Can you pull an M7? What? Can you build an M7? Uh, sure. Give me about five grand and I'll I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want you to build a no. life-size one. Where would I put it? <laughs> what? Actually, I know where I put it. On the you website. would never build a full-size N7 for five grand. No, unless, bloody... unless you, yeah, unless you, um, one. unless Can you, you did it if a bit of a bodge a... job. I want a. We're rail talking. Bus. What? I presume we're talking about. Um, models. Yes. Yes. I want yes. a rail bus. Oh wait, I'm building one. Well, actually, no, no. Five grand is 
too little. Probably you know what? about six I'd like a to seven. Car. I would. I'd like a Give you seven car. grand to build an M7 in TS. Yeah. Bear in mind, bear in mind that um, a developer whose name I won't mention, when I asked them about the sort of prices they do for commissions, to build Shannon at the Didcot Railway Centre, they quoted about five grand. Actually, James, Jeez. James, what about a bubble car? Yeah, I've been wanting to do one for a while, but it's very low on the list and I don't have any drawings yet. Um, do a rail bus. I'd love to see. Uh, yeah, again a on the list, very low down, bus. no drawings. Earlstoke Manor is coupled to the train. About time. Whee! Whee! I'm off. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, Bye Callum. I need Why am I coke. saying that I don't even like the Great Western? Uh, Sir Thomas. <laughs> James. I think every company has its soft spots. It's what? The M7s and the B2L tanks are mine in the southern books. The study of Ogle oh. <laughs> or mine. I know it's probably Nine more nine likely nine. impossible to make in Rare Works, but a hush hush. <laughs> it's not impossible to make. Really? You could make... Brew. Yeah, but what if you Somehow. can really get sounds for a hush hush. I can uh, tell you how you can do it. It's more likely fare. than you think. You could get a fairly good approximation. Really? Hmm. I can yeah. tell you how you can do a wow. a um a light a um standard gauge double fairly. Standard gauge double fairly. Yeah. That's interesting. Two Andrew Bartley's back to back. No, I mean like a, like a, a pro a, like the idea of a proper standard gauge double fairly. Uh, it did I'm exist, didn't they? I think a bubble. No, no, I mean you got you got me thinking. Oh, they no, existed don't do in, that, like, James. continental Europe. I your, just brain think, like, Italy. your brain can't take it. I just think a bubble car would be best in railways at the moment, because there is I, yeah, there. I would really love one. And me. I'm quite good them. to see. So, make one. Yeah, I can't just make something. Drop I wonder... No. I wonder who would be brave enough to make a Garrett. Um... Believe it or not, I'm Anyone pretty sure I would. would. <laughs> if I had every, if I had literally everything I needed to make one. Or well, hopefully, James. Well, like the, like the Bayer Garrets on the West Welsh Islands, or like LNER Garrets, or what Garrets? Or LMS? Did you just Wait. say Garrets yeah, on the yeah, Welsh LMS, Highlands? Uh, uh, yeah. It is the Welsh Island. There are no ghost garrets on the Welsh Island. Oh god, yeah. excuse me, I'm, j yeah, I'm currently jizzing Garrett's over the manor the whistle. Island. Yay. Wait, no, not at Elstock Manor, don't do it all over Elstock. Tough, it's already white, it's, it's, it's turned from green to white. Aww. We just cleaned it, so. That's a shame. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, Jay, hopefully another developer might think of making a bubble car soon. Maybe. Oh, uh, personally, um, I'd like, let's... Dear would you like to make a please will you make a one, a one, two, <laughs> one bubble car? Excuse, what? <laughs> I hope you didn't say that then, David. Say what? Say what? Actually... Who, who would you like to, out of the developers, who would you personally think is best for making a bubble car? Movie. Um, um, even though honestly speaking, honest. I don't think <laughs> there is anyone who's good enough. Hmm. I know someone. The model is down shit though. What? I know someone, but the model is down shit. You know something, but what? I know somebody who's made the 101, the 101, the 121, but the model was down shit. I know who now, now you've mentioned it like that. Yeah. I, I didn't hear the last bit. You, you know someone who'd make it, but what? Put it as sound shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, him. Him. See, I, would, I would make Tut -tut. one if I had what I needed <laughs> to make one, which I don't. <laughs> Those would be the drawings, wouldn't they? Uh, drawings and about a gajillion reference pictures. And drivers. Well, I've, it would be good. I've I got think. access to drivers. If a bubble car was made, it would be great for shuttles on the galas we do. 
it would. It, yeah. it would, it would see a lot really of well. use, especially if, <laughs> as arrogant as this is going to sound, especially if it were by me. Yeah. Not not yeah, just because well, I plan galas, but because people no, would but, actually no. like to drive it. Oi, I'm yeah. planning a gala. I said I plan galas, not I plan every single gala. Thank Dave you. Dave plans all the galas. I'm very tempted to reskin a four sig into southern into southern green. Ooh, yeah, that is a great green. idea. Green. Yes, yes, I want one in southern green. Wilson is confused. Yeah, but would you do it with the uh, yellow panel door? Mm, I would probably do half panel. Half panel, that sounds good. You mean BR green? Actually, David, do you do reskins then or not? Or are you going to get into it? I don't do it, I'm just thinking out loud. Like learning how to do them? I roughly heard to do it, but I, I, want, I, think a I want to get into and actually do it. A Ginty Thomas is needed. No, it's not. Yes, it is. James. No, no be honest. Is, if you go into Thomas models, they will all be properly needed. Just buy Hornby. <laughs> I've already got the Hornby model, but it's broken. Huh. I've just got yeah. a standard BR jeans. Apparently, right apparently, oh, Dean, wow. apparently bad. Dean needs to kill Twilight Sparkle because he can. It's killed a euphemism. Yeah. It's killed the conversation. Yeah, you can say that again. It's killed the um. conversation. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> it's oh killed, God! It's killed the conversation. Okay, yeah, you can okay. Say that again. It's killed, the it's killed the conversation. Right, right, shut up, say it. It's killed our conversation. You can say, you can that, say again. that again. Kieran. David. I got. I'm looking at a very interesting article in my Model Railway magazine. Right. Saddling up a sound austerity. A what? Saddling up a sound austerity. Is that? Ho oh. A oh, yeah, is that a you? Oh. sound on a mysterity saddle oh, tank. I, I was planning to... Ah! Oh, I was planning to And so, it. Kieran had an orgasm. I was planning to build <laughs> my... I was planning to buy a Hornby austerity and just put sound and DCC on it anyway. I don't know. I might, I might get some model zone sometime rather this week and next week to see what bargains are on offer. To yeah. do it here, it would cost you about I'm gonna 170 do it as well. quid. I'm just, I'm just love the the austerity Loco is 60, the decoder is 93, the stay alive unit is 12, and the sugar, and the sugar cube speaker is 653. Well, he's already got the austerity bit. I'll we'll take the fifty-nine not pounds. Not mine, also. Bailey. I've borrowed them. Oh. oh. But I want my own, but they cost too much. But to be perfectly honest, David, it won't be that much considering I've spent one hundred and twenty-five quid on a Hornby Britannia, and I'm now possibly going to be spending another two hundred quid having it with lights, sound, DC, Wait, uh, Kieran, DCC after. smoke. After Kieran the fourteenth. Hmm. Yes, Kieran. After um, the fourteenth. Stupid, Nick Kieran. After the fourteenth. No. Oh, here we go. Yes. This is a beautiful article. Let me guess. Something to do with manners. No, it's not. Mind dun, your dun, manners. Heldon's nail bus proves small is beautiful. <laughs> Opening parties. The oh shit! 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 Heldon's new double O gauge model of the wagon and Mr. Bushy rail bus looks set to be a real winner in model form. This is kind of awkward because I've only done the scenery halfway up the line to the second station, so you kind of leave Headbridge, full scenery, halfway up the line, full scenery, other half of the, and the rest of the line, 
boring track and a station platform. What fun. <laughs> Here's a good book for you, James. Lightweight DMUs. Ha <laughs> yeah. The early Derby works and Metro Camel units. Derby. Yeah, Derby. But yeah. That's what I said. You said you said Derby. It's so a Derby. Derby, you not Derby. derby. I said Derby. Anyway, I said it and um, what has it got drawings and shit in? Uh, recommend reading lightweight DMUs. Let me have a look. Price is sixteen ninety nine. It's ninety six pages, including five detailed drawings of a derby derby lightweight DMU. You did it again. Derby, not Derby. At least he corrected himself that time. Yeah. Welcome to the Derby. Welcome to my world. Welcome to the Derby Derby. Hello and welcome to the Derby at Derby. Uh, sorry, the Derby at Derby. Uh, no, sorry, the Derby at Derby. <laughs> <laughs> And so, we arrived at our first stop after Headbridge, which is Brawl. Finally. Hold on. Backman, uh, uh, I'm saying it now. Derby Wait, light we're two train. DMU, Derby Let's unload the passengers. Unload the passengers, and the doors are finally opened after five or ten minutes after I said they wanted to open. I'm going to train. I, d I didn't know. James. DMU. Do you want an O-Gage 040 packet? Uh, no. The doors are shut. Well, I, I wouldn't mind one, because I could sell it. James? Yes. Can I get a guard's whistle to go? Yes, you can. <laughs> well, Should be me who does that. I'm the bloody trainee guard here. Yeah, well, Matty does it as well, and he ain't a guard. Move! No, actually, actually, nice. I'm a qualified guard, bitch. No, you're not. So fucking am. All right, what's train protection? What? What's ah. train? You said you're a guard. What's train protection? Bre that is what? one of the. Hold on, hold on a minute. That's that's like asking someone what is. Let's, Meaning let's of think life. Broad subject. What is history? The past. Wow, it's, it's not the past, it's the recorded past. Thank you very much. Oh, we shut already up. Know what, we already know what the meaning of life is. Thanks 42. to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the meaning of life <laughs> is 42. It is. No, it's Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Drawing a king on A3 paper is hard, especially when you're doing it for art, but, and it takes too long. Which one are you doing, Edward the first or Edward the second? Second. Oh, so you're what? doing the blue one. Yeah. I'm blue, said Bailey's king. <laughs> I'd like some blue. I might upload a picture on cast though. Might. But yeah, what? Dave, seriously, I'm passed out, passed out on my uh, uh, on my little railway. Guys. But you don't know what train protection is. Um. Well, that's quite a broad kind of question. I mean. Do you mean, for example, stuff like um, okay, the lamp on the rear of the train? You. You've also got the, um, you. the stop uh, let me, James. that uh, you can lay on the track uh, when your train breaks down to stop uh, another train coming up your I arse. think I know well, what it is. Is it making sure that all the doors are closed? No, that's or... not train protection. Well, <laughs> auto well automatic what? train protection is when all the it's doors disgusting. are closed locked. Train protection is when your train breaks down in the middle of nowhere, mid-section. you got to go down the train and put um, detonators down. That's train protection. I just I just said when your train breaks down and you've got the lamp and various bits and pieces you can put on the track behind you. But you know, it would, would appear I was ignored. In front of you as well. 
I experienced them. You should do a quarter mile back from the train and a quarter mile in front of it. Actually, guys. Surely it depends if you're on a double or single track, David. Actually, guys, guys I, have I have a question. question. That's a good point, actually. Does anyone know how many Pindy Coders that runs Derby Lightweight needs? Nope. What? They, I have a feeling it's Is it 21 pin decoders that need 8 pin or...? I have a feeling it's two eight pins, one in each car. I know it needs two. Let me. I'll look now. I know it needs two. David. I don't know what. Pin. It's, it's, it's what. It'll be eight pins then, probably. I experienced them track data detonators for the first time when I was doing um, a cleaning turn on Wimblebury. Um, I watched the guy put them on the track, and I should have realised that they were there and to sort of expect the bang. So he put them down, moved out the way, whistle. And we start to move off, get the chuff in, and we get moving. Next thing, bang! And I fucking shit Oh, yeah, myself. they're loud. I absolutely shit myself. I think that's, that's why when you put detonators to... down on West Somerset, you've got the white air defenders. I think the best experience, well, the, my experience with detonators is having them under the bridge at Wembley Park Station on the last A stop. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> bang, bang, <laughs> bang. Crazy. Four of them. Bang, 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 said it, bang, bang, hold on, guys. Whoever said it needs eight plus eight decoders, you were wrong. That was me. It needs uh, on the front car eight pin, on the rear car six pin, which is strange. It's probably six pin because it's got the motor car, so. Ah, that is very true. <laughs> motor car? Because the six, six pin is pin. much well, smaller because it fits an N gauge. At least it costs less to get them than getting two eight pins, isn't it? It, you know, Not you really, because two eight an eight pin is a fifth is about fifteen quid. So is a six pin. Oh, screw that. Oh, okay, I've been proven wrong. <laughs> Ooh. That just reminded me of it in Open TC when I go oh, and something <laughs> new comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at Dapol's um, Great Western motorized lower quadrant signals. Um, I want them for my route, actually. My model railway. What? 9351 for train simulator 2030? What? 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 Chris what? Harding 3D what? design and animation. Holy what? shit. What's this? What? Quick! Coach, 19, uh, 9351. What else is he doing? Links, links, links. Is this Chris Harding? Name. Yeah. Yeah, he's a TTR in the West Somerset. Oh, well. He's making 9351 a Northern coach, but they're not... I know. They're not hugely detailed. I've got his His auto coach, coach is already coach. out. I've already got his auto Oh, is coach. that the one on UKTS? Uh-huh. Ah. He was also going to do the West Somerset route. Ha, then he found out that I have done it. To sort out. Yeah, <laughs> I had exactly the same problem with the 161. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit. 25 mile per hour over a point. That's a bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. No, 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 no. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. No, 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 slow down, please. Oh, I'm fine. Oh shit, no. No, put the setter in. No, don't, don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop! You're not even in the bloody platform yet! And so, the guard put the setter in. Damn it, I'm gonna have to redo our oh, balls. And so, there you go, James. If you're a guard, what's the setter? Break. What oh. he said. For fuck's sake. Why are you oh, now choosing not like, to go over five miles per hour? Gonna, You're I'm a bloody all because I can't have mm. what I wanted where I wanted it. Hmm. And we're finally moving steadily, and we've arrived into Hatton, which is the furthest I can be asked to go. I'll do the return trip though. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh god. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh, oh no. yeah. Oh no. Why no? 
Thank you for coming. Mi so grito. Juane. No. Double rainbow. All the way across the sky. Oh my god. Question. <laughs> Do I have um, a two track bridge with the two foot and two foot three inch gauge lines running alongside each other. Yes. Or do I leave things the way they are and have um, the two foot three inch go the other way and have a level crossing? Oh. What do you mean have a level crossing? Because uh, if, have a level crossing. Have it goes over the bridge, railway line. Ah, no. Yeah, no, it's it's not a question of bridge or level crossing. It's actually bridge and level crossing or bridge. I'm uh, sorry. Bridge and level crossing, or just level crossing? Bridge and level crossing. Bridge and level. Be a bit of a fast to do again, but all right. Right. <laughs> that way, you're going to have the two narrow gauge locos side by side, doing parallel. Yeah, although that will obviously never... Well, it will be, eventually, experienced in multiplayer. Okay, okay. One I've day. unloaded, I've loaded with passengers, I've switched from the Manor to the 4MT, I'm ready to make the return trip. All I need now is a guard whistle, and I will move. Right away, James. James, that was wrong. How so? Where was the second blast? On my railway, we have one to go. One is stop. No, on my railway, three short blasts repeated is stop. No, it's not. I agree yes, with it James. It's not. I agree with James. I agree not with James. James, James. You want to bring, you you bring them up by the setter being pushed in. You want to ring it up and if you want to ring them up and ask or text them, I'll give you a fucking contact number and you can say James Littlewood has told me that on your railway you use three short blasts to tell the driver to stop the train. Is this correct? And they will say yes. Either that which is or they wrong. will say who the fuck are you? But yes. James, which railway is it? Faversham Miniature Railway Society. Okay. I'll then say I am a guard on the West Somerset Railway, and what you're teaching your guards is wrong. <laughs> Uh, no, they're teaching their guards the procedure that they use on the railway, funnily enough. Which is wrong. That, well, which is actually... What, James has got... No. It's not wrong. It's, it's not wrong. It's their own railway, for goodness sake. They can make up their own rules. Well... Suppose, but if they want to be accurate... Oof. What well, is at, Fo thing? at Foxfield, one when whistle... When I come to that little miniature railway, James, I'll run it properly. No, you won't. At Foxfield, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell him to, um, I'll tell him not to let you in. Well, Fairly. David, tell me he if is. this is right. At Foxfield, right, one whistle is acknowledgement, two whistles is basically the, right the whistle is to basically say, you know, we're coming through the crossings and all that sort of stuff right away. Three whistles is emergency stop. That are, you asking, are you talking about loco whistles or guard yeah, whistles? Yeah, loco whistles. I don't know about loco whistles. And then four, four, whistles. four whistles is uh, easing couplings and setting back. Technically, acknowledgement should be one long blast and then one short one. Yeah. Because you're whistling to the person in the track and then you do a short whistle to acknowledge their... That they've noticed you. Yeah, it's it, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we, no, that's not that. We do one long whistle to say we're coming. And then wait, one wait for one them to acknowledge the whistle, and then when they've acknowledged it, just one yeah. tug on the yeah, cord. One one. And then they raise their our hand. Kieran, did you just say you did you just say you give it a tug? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, James. Hey, did you, you have a quick tug on the cord, do you, Kieran? <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Tug. <laughs> Masturbation! <laughs> <laughs> and so, Kieran's, Kieran's video was ruined. Forever. <laughs> Uh, I love you really, Kieran. Is this a video? No, it's fine, because everyone on our sog is going to hear it, if they can be bothered to watch the video <laughs> this for him. Meh. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've just made a How 1 in 23 anyway? gradient. But, to the people of our sog, if you could be asked to watch the video this long, thank you very much. 
Where's Hello. the money? Thank you for coming. No. Thank That's you for watching this Karen video. Stress Bay Railway don't take things lightly. That's a seven coach train they've got with a 2MT. <laughs> hey, it'll manage it. They said. That's the link. <laughs> How long is the it's TPO? It'll manage it, they say. Well, it how... won't slip back, they say. How long is the TPO set at uh, GCR? Four. Oh, I thought. Or was it five? I thought it was five. And it and it the two MT manages that. Yeah, but the growth central is all flat. True. The Strass Bay Railway yeah, is in Scotland. It's in Scotland. <laughs> yeah. David, that's all yeah. that needs to be do, said. Do I have the because it, this is going to be a girder bridge? Do I have the bottom of it open or covered? Bearing in mind that underneath there is a road covered. and there's also the standard gauge railway. Covered. Covered. Okay. Have it coveted. No, just covered. Have it covered. Coveted in velvet. No. When I, I do really my southern route, do I put third rail down? I don't know if anyone knew, but I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got any pictures. But uh, back when I'm making the Wickham Type 27 trolley car. Oh, very nice. In uh, in BR maroon, BR engineers yellow, and BR engineers yellow with wasp uh, stripes. Oh, good. Not that I'm a modeler, but it's cool to see Batman doing different stuff. Backman have, re have released a blooming warship. Mm. Yeah, they've got a warship. Uh, where are they? In the docks. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Down by the docks. Uh, <laughs> in the navy. They do one in. In the uh, warship. They are playing Green Lake Crest and B R Blue Weathered Cockade. This is well the nameplate, yeah. Uh, I like how on the bridge the two foot gauge track takes up more room than the two foot three inch gauge track. <laughs> Lol. 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 James? Yeah? Have you any experience with third rail? Yeah. Sorry, I hear it's, it's quite really annoying. Yes. It's really annoying. Because that southern route, I'm quite tempted to put third rail down. So I can run like vintage um, southern EMUs. Mm. But I don't know how to do it. It's just like With the select and offset. Yeah, basically what, what they said. Select offset point one. No, it's 1.1. 1. 1. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, point one Fair was enough. just to get in the middle of the track. <laughs> Cause re remember, the the distance is in metres. Somehow, I don't think you want your third rail point one of a metre away from the centre of your track. I know it was something point one. It's 1.1. 1. 1. There you go, David. Is that why my third rail, when I uh, tried to experiment with third rail, wasn't showing? Because I didn't actually set it properly. It's really annoys um, me length. You not you don't you don't just have to set it in the track properties, you also need to manually lay it. Cause I can't for some reason I can't get super elevation to work either. You no, I can't. use easements and a track rule that has super elevation in it to use those. Oh What's God. Easement? Yeah. Does anyone have a name for like a halt styled station at the end of a Sort of branch line off a preserved railway. Hold, Mend it, Vale. Yeah. Hold, Doniford. Oh, Doniford, that's a nice name. That does sound quite good. I think it's been taken, I'm afraid. I'm back, by the way. Hello. Oh, I'm back. Hello. 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 Bradford Exchange. Bradford Abbas. 
Matty, Ma well, Matty, Matty, mm -hmm. would you really call a hub an interchange? Yes. Right, okay. Whatever. Call it intercourse. Oh, for fuck's sake. Intercourse the interchange. There's always someone, isn't there? Call yeah. it go hold. Change here for intercourse. I've already called it Donaford. You can't call it Donaford. It's Donaford. Passengers Donaford. Donaford. wishing to ask. How about Dave? Da, da, da. Dave yeah, call it Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Holt. No, Barry. Barry the Holt. <laughs> Barry Holt. And we've arrived back at Bruff Platform 1. Hagrid Holt. Not far away from Headbridge, not far call away it, from the end Hagley of the video. Call it Hagley Holt. Hagley Holt. Hey. Call it your Hag man. Hagrid Holt. No, I tell you what, I tell you what, high. I tell you what. Mossy Hot. Call it, rather. call it, call it Mellard. No. Bailey. Or, Actually, or I need line. names. Actually, or in Fitz's line, let's call it Medsteed. <laughs> uh, Medsteed. How about Midsummer Murder? Passengers unloaded and loaded. Brakes are off. Guard's let's whistle. Call it rope Guard's whistle. Oh, there we go. Out of all the videos I've been watching with James in it, I've never actually heard the whistle. No, because I've only ever done it during live streams. Oh. And in TeamSpeak. And in TeamSpeak. But, yeah. Ah. Well, you've only Hello. ever done it in you've only ever done it in live stream up till now. Yeah. Maybe. In the Navy. It's just a shame that the whistle is so shit on this 4MT, otherwise it would be a bloody brilliant video. I mean, it's been outdone by the manor, but... I remember the first time I used a Jinty, it was on the little tutorial thing, where you start off with advanced controls. Just, just out of curiosity, just, just out of curiosity, how did we get from 4MT to Jinty? No idea. Any, yeah, anyway, as you were saying, Oh, Alan. sorry, I forgot to add a name for something completely different. And now for something completely different. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Marty. Mrs. Kieran, Roberts, Roberts, then again, how from, did we get from Newcastle from on time? Talking about... She cannot be seen. Well, then again, that. how did we get from the S&D to overruling the government the other day? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> good it sort good of point. snowballed, didn't it? Yeah. And, and then GCH ended up in, re and then resulted in me getting again. a twelve-hour posting ban from Facebook because obviously Mark Fuckerberg is a complete twat. And if you're watching this, he passes you're on a twat. Information to GCHQ. <coughs> but Thank he you, is, uh, though. He is. I mean, valid and uh, welcome contribution to the conversation. I mean, it, it's true though, because as we pointed out through about five or six different people who pretty much commented the same thing, how ridiculous my ban was. Like if and they the moral of the story is, the freedom of post. speech exists in absolutely zero countries. Exactly. <laughs> well, pretty there much. is freedom of speech, it's just people are spying on you and hunting you No, down. there is not freedom of speech. You have freedom of speech. As long as it follows and agrees with whatever, whoever's listening to it. Well, as long as it's not racist say, or offends basically. anyone. And as long as it doesn't have any negative comments in it at all. Free, yeah, it's freedom of speech apart from you can't Which say is anything not free. bad about anything or anyone. Yeah. I remember my dad It's freedom of speech that's not free. free. No, no, just, just, you have to pay for it. You should wealth. rename it freedom of <laughs> and power. Praise. I mean, come on, we, we live in a world today where we practically have to pay to be alive. Yeah. And the moral it's of the been story like that is, quite welcome to the first world. Hmm. A developed welcome world to where, there's, where there's bigotry and other shittery going on.
Have you seen that the Swanage Railway have fully cleared out no. the Form 1 now? As in, the buffet is moved. No. Is it? Cool. Is it I don't know. Put? I don't um, live anywhere near the Swanage Railway. I don't know. You know the old things. run round loop, and they used to have that bit at the end where they had the occasional loco stored? No. Yeah. They built a platform along that side and they're sticking it there. Oh. Which now means during diesel galas, they can actually fit the whole train into the platform. <laughs> We're near enough the whole train. Hooray! Before no, we could only fit talking the loco, about... now we can fit the loco and half a coach. Talk, talking <laughs> about platform length, it's it's quite interesting in in real terms and perspective when you're actually going along the line on the uh, suburban routes on like dog boxes, the one five threes or the one five eights, whatever, and the platforms only ever seem to be big enough to fit them units in. But if you look carefully, you can actually see how long the platform originally was, because some of it is still there. Oh, I kind of the same as Grenra. You know, um, that little platform, um, you know, where it just sort of stops. It's sort of, you know, there's a platform in between. That line's gone now because the platform's been extended and the footbridge is now gone. And the little uh, points at the back, they're all gone. Stranraer Town Station, that's all gone. I live in a shit place in the world. Welcome to the Brit Welcome to Britain. And the moral of the story is, don't Dr. go to Dr. Beeching is a twat. Was a twat. See, and also, I might take a shit on his grave. And also, my train fares here are absolutely ridiculous in terms of price, right? And right. Let, let me say, right, for starters, it's, um, oh god, how much is it? 18 pounds return journey from Strunra to Air, 50 miles. That's not bad. I tell you, but it's when not you're yeah, either. Yeah, when you're yeah. going to college three days a week, it's not cheap. Yeah, with East Midlands oh. trains, I can travel from one end of my city over to the other end for four quid. And the thing is, is that ScotRail actually do really good fares for most places, you know. And the problem is, Strunrar's in Dumfries and Galloway, and the next station, Bar Hill, uh, is in Ayrshire. And Ayrshire, they welcome the train with open arms. But as you can see, with Dumfries and Galloway, they don't like them. That's why they closed down the Port Road. In fact, when they were thinking of bringing back the Port Road sometime in the 90s. So that means they wouldn't have to endlessly do roadworks on the A75. And they said, no, 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 no. We prefer road transport. Right? And also, seeing, seeing as the ferries are now gone... There's no real point of the harbour station. So they should move it back to the town station because most of the track is actually still there. But Dumfries and Galloway Council again say that this isn't a good idea. I think it's a bloody brilliant idea. Because to get to the harbour station, you have to go through the old um, ferry terminal, which is very dark at 6 o'clock in the morning. Callum, because... can I interrupt? You just no. did. Stop talking, else we'll end up overruling the government again. <laughs> Good. Up the anarchy. Reinstating lines isn't really a good place to go since. It's the not really reinstating ones. a line, or reinstating a station. Let's reinstate the Minehead Link from the West Somerset. Why don't we just do what we were going Let's to do and overrule nothing. everything? Let's reinstate James's mind. I just think it'll be a That bit. would be dangerous, David. It would it would be better for the college um, people like me, because I've had to use the trains for a year. If it was why don't you just get like a student, like a sixteen twenty five rail card? I have, and as oh. a result, it's costing me uh, eleven pounds a day to go up to college. Bad. Cheaper than the actually, bus, that is bad. Actually, to think that it's costing me to go by bus to work, it's costing me twenty pounds a week. Hmm. Now, I could go by bus. Trouble is, is that the bus leaves half an hour later than the train, 
at half seven. And you say, oh, well, to nine o'clock, there's no bother. We get the shittest buses in the world. I went to Scotland. Newcastle, and in order to get to Dumfries to catch the train to Newcastle, I had to go by bus. And the bus was shocking. Every single time he changed gear, it was like he put it in reverse and then put it in the next would gear. We'd like to remind your family to travel yeah. by bus. City Rail would like your family to travel by bus. Replacement bus service. Rupert, the replacement um, bus service. Callum. Yash. The fact that your bus drivers have to change gears makes us realise how old them buses are. Because from what I understand, modern day buses actually have automatic transmission. I do they now? I never yeah, they that. do. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Not yeah. all ones. Meanwhile, in Scotland... <laughs> all, all the ones that we have around our area are all the first buses of automatic transmission. No, Kieran, let's expand it. Yeah, Most of the buses in England are like that. What are you saying? You saying our Scottish buses are shit? Well, they are shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Scotland yeah. is the line. We normally the... go in little I town buses, first buses over long distances. My poor buttocks. Are they first bus? <laughs> what? Are they first bus? No, stagecoach. Oh. Oh. That oh. has surprised me. It does surprise oh. me. Mm. So if, oh. If it was... If it was a first oh, bus, I'd say, well, there you go, there's the problem. I'm just going to stagecoach, I'm quite surprised. I'm just going randomly. To going, be fair, mm. though, Jay, to be fair, we've got first buses, and our buses are perfectly fine. It's just some yeah. of the drivers are complete arseholes. I'm just randomly saying, hmm, because Where everyone else is. Well. So then there's our trains. Oh. We just use 156s down here. Yeah. And 185s, yes. We've got 153s, 156s, 158s, occasionally two 153s together, or a 156 and a 153, or even a 158 and a 153. But mm. they were apparently, East Midlands trains were apparently um, testing out the brand new, uh, the upgraded versions of the 222s, the four cars. Or the Meridians. Yeah, apparently they were testing them out, but I never saw any of them. To be, honest, to be honest, for this line, the 156s are just too uncomfortable for that route, you know, because they're quite slow, they're very noisy inside, and the seats are very uncomfortable. So yeah. I think. Start travelling a first great western 150. Now, ScotRail actually have a fleet of 170s. Why can't we use those? Because they're for, like, high speed stuff. Yeah, but they'd be more comfortable, will not they? They're called turbo stars and all, aren't they? Scotland, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, you say It's alright, it's alright. I've just overrun the platform at Headbridge because I'm a fucking well done. Mong. I'll say about, guys, people saying about bus drives. I see it once it, in our local, like, town bus service that just does around town. It's like a quid to get round, just go wherever you want in town, like, per ride. And I went on, and I didn't have, like, a, um, a cart, like, a uh, what do you call it? A card that tells you people that you can get a child's fare. And I went on and had my passport, and he said, "Oh, I said, can I have a child's fare." And he went, "Oh, um, do you have a like a pass to say or you can get child's fare?" And I said, "No, but I have my passport. P passport. The highest thing about this, the highest level of identification possible." And the bus driver said, oh, "I can't." I, I said, "I have my passport. Is that enough?" And he said. No, I can't. You gotta have a card to do it, so you ha you'll have to get the adult fare. The highest what? level of identification, and he turned me down for a child's ticket. That is pish. What is? I suggest you ring up the bus company. To be honest. Oh, we did. We it, it saves go, but we we did. And we just complained. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake! I've got a passport that can get me into different countries, and you're not letting me go less than a mile. Back into town for a cheap affair of 20p less. Did you get a response? I then they'll just I say probably I've got the money 20p more. Probably fuck off. <laughs> yeah, you probably if you sent a letter, you probably would have spent more sending the letter than you would have got back. I know, but what I yeah. found quite funny is that when they print the tickets, they they have a driver identification number. The time that the ticket was printed and the number plate of the bus. 
so they can track who it was. Our buses do that, except we don't get a bus number plate, we get the bus number. Our buses yeah, the numbers. fleet number. I can't remember whether cool. it was the, the worst type of buses. Better. The worst type of buses are Let council run buses. Council, the buses. council run bu buses are fucking awful. No, the worst buses are mini buses. True. The worst buses like are buses. the Stranra buses. I've already told you. The worst buses are the mini buses that are so-called mini buses, but they're just a transit van turned into a exactly. thing with glass. That's what I'm on about. They're, they're really fun if you're doing right, a If all of you shut up, I can tell you the details of my first bus ticket. Oh my god. Your first bus ticket? And it's in a little <gasps> frame, is it? <laughs> it's in a little no. frame of a little <laughs> 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 Oh my god. <laughs> I should have rephrased that. Isn't it, wasn't they... it what my first group bus ticket says? Service well, first 57. Group bus ticket. Journey 1. Ticket number 32909. Ticket type, Adult Dorset Week. Expires on Wednesday 03072013. Issued at Sherbourne Green Hill. Oh, look, it's a butterfly. First Dorset, <laughs> price £20. <laughs> Time issued 8.45 and 13 seconds. Bus 463. Come here, butterfly. Come here, come here. ETM 1298 Come here, baby. Driver 204975. You know, that I'm driver sounds like an arsehole. I guarantee sorry. that driver sounds like an arsehole. I mean, did you hear his name? It's just a load of numbers. I reckon he's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would be it. What was his name? I didn't hear it. My name is 29503. Get, get you Greg can call Spiner. me Brian. Hello, my name is Data. But you I can call me Brian. Greetings. <laughs> He could have like the Microsoft Sam voice. You have selected <laughs> and when he gets an error, Sam as the computer default voice. And when he gets an error, he does the ruffle copter. Ruffle copter. What were we talking about again? Buses. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, big all, bus all I'm going to say now is I overran the platform. I was going too fast. I was at 20 mile per hour by the time I realized. I was halfway down the platform. I had all the handbrakes on and all the coaches. Loco brake. Vacuum brake. The manor had its brakes on. Every bloody brake was on. And I overran it by one coach. What were From we talking about From 20 to again? zero... From 20 to 0 in about 200 yards. Wow. The Jinties do better than that. <laughs> yeah, but I had a 4 NT and a Manor and 4 coaches. And As what I was say, the gradient? A with a few the gradient was level, Matty, because I was <laughs> in a platform. <laughs> David, well, well, again. David happily plays some random I Microsoft was my nonsense. Spazzing out, I was like, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> 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 well, no, we no, have some random nonsense playing it? in the background, and while Callum complains that Newcastle is a shithole, and his, his laptop, laptop is bollocks, I'm going to end the video. I've done a return trip between Headbridge and Hatton. <laughs> and, uh, I can't be asked to do anything else. So I'm going to say goodbye. Everyone else is going to say goodbye, I hope. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. And yeah. Hello. See you later, shitlords. <laughs> Where is the rum? Where is the rum gone? See you later, shitlords. Where is the, where is the, where is the, where is the, where is the rum gone? Thank <laughs> you.